it's like really hard on my car today for some reason but hello let's get it so i am two days into a water fast um what's up you guys um it's candy i'm back um i don't know if anyone knows me from um a year ago i did um weight loss vlogs on my, um my first tiktok account x candy Geary x which um unfortunately got deleted um but yeah i did weight loss vlogs um i lost like i lost like mm, 35 40 pounds it like fluctuates my weight like fluctuates five pounds up and down um between march to uh like march to august and then I maintained for like six months and I just really focused on like my lifts and the gym um, and now I'm doing another 21 day fast water fast um, to speed up my fat loss this year um, and then we'll see where I am again in six months um, I don't have as much fat to lose obviously as I did last year because I was overweight last year I'm a healthy weight now but I still want to tone up some more but anyways yeah that's my journey so far so this will start my second year in my fitness journey hey let's go sometimes I feel really behind because a lot of people started like five six like years ago than me and I'm like damn like why can't I lift as much as you or like why does my physique not look like yours but I literally just started my fitness journey like I feel like a lot of the a lot of the girls who have the physique that I want they've been consistently training for like five plus years but anyway i'm on my way uh to do um, a five mile walk uh, my first fast i did three mile walks um because that's all i could really handle um at the time because i wasn't you know i didn't have as much cardiovascular endurance i was overweight um so yeah um but now uh, i did a five mile walk and it actually i think because uh, I've been working really hard in the gym for the past year, so um, I could definitely feel my endurance getting better. So, yeah, but anyways, um, enough about the fitness. Uh, I wanted to talk about... Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the reason or, like, the way that I got into... Mm, the way I got into that nine-day relationship and what happened... So, what happened was, I think I'm going to get an energy drink before this. I know I'm sipping on, like, sugar-free root beer right now, but I kind of want some, like, caffeine energy drink. I have to do it before my walk because I let myself have one energy drink a day. It's technically, a, like, a dirty fast. I know I said water fast, but I include, sh like, sugar-free drinks in my fasts because it just helps me. I also have keto electrolytes anyways yeah so basically um you guys i'm a streamer uh slash like content creator it's my full-time job i'm just really starting to get into the youtube thing i'm really enjoying it i'm liking it i really like it you guys um i like vlogging <laughs> i didn't ever think that i would be a vlogger but i like it so um yeah anyways uh so that's what i was doing and uh my new like the guy that i was talking to who i just met who you know wanted to date me and everything um he was watching one of my streams one night and he started to get jealous of like what was happening in the stream and i'm gonna tell you guys what happened in the stream because I'm, I'm very transparent and i'm honest so basically what happened is like a few days like before that stream that night i think it was like a thursday night before let's say it was a thursday night it was a thursday night um and i was streaming with vic bucks i don't know if you know vic bucks he's a kick streamer you guys should check me out on kick um yeah it's in my link tree but uh yeah so i was streaming with uh vic bucks and he was like interviewing me or some shit and some shit came up from like a few days before um because um i did an e-date um with another streamer and basically what happened was um, these dudes were, like, betting to, like, see, like, whose dick was bigger or whatever the fuck. Um, so they asked if they could send their dick pic to me. And I was like, okay, like, I guess. Because I was just like, I don't know. I don't... It was just 
stupid. It's stupid shit. So it was just like that, right? I was like, okay. It was for the stream. It was for the stream. So I saw their dick pics and then, you know, whatever. We confirmed it on the stream, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> it was some stupid shit. So anyways, when I, that Thursday night when I was streaming with Vic Bucks, uh, the dude who I was talking to, mind you, we had been talking for maybe like two weeks. You know, talking, you know, nothing like serious. We had gone on like maybe like three or four dates, you know, but nothing like, no conversation about exclusivity and nothing like that. So, yeah. Um, anyways, that's how that happened. And then he like texted me and was like, oh, like, why are you letting dudes like send like dick pics to you? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, first of all, you're not my boyfriend, so why are you getting jealous? This is stupid. I'm trying to cross over here. You're not my boyfriend, so why are you getting jealous? Um. And second of all, like, you know my job. Like, you know what I do. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Like, he kn he was like, oh, you sell nudes, right? Like, he asked me, like, I don't know, probably, like, on our second, like, our second date. And I was like, yeah, like basically that's what i do i mean that's not that's not all of my job but yeah that is a part of my job but anyways he knows what i do type shit um i'll just park here and i guess talk to you guys um, actually you know what i'm gonna go get my drink and i'll be back all right so i got my drinks i got i got a green apple cherry celsius i love celsius these helped me through my last 18 day fast um, yeah, I did 18 days. I'm shooting for 21 this time. Um, and then I got a zero sugar coconut lime, like, thing. So, vitamin water. Sorry, some lady was looking at me, so I felt weird. Oh, she was looking at me really hard. But anyways, yeah, so dude, dude knew what I did on the internet and shit, um, and, like, if you know, I feel like you, you kind of have to know, like, what that entails. I, like, asked him if he, he had ever, like, met, like, a girl who'd done OnlyFans, who'd done OnlyFans or, um, like, even, like, just any sex work, like, stripping or something like that. And he said no. So, um, yeah. I don't know how to help him there, but, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. He started to get jealous in my chat and he was like, why are you like, why are you not being loyal? I'm just like, like, first of all, I, you're not my boyfriend. And then I had to call, I had to end my stream. First of all, they started arguing in the stream and it was some drama in the stream because of that shit, because of the dick pics. And then I had to call this dude cause he was like texting me and being like, oh, like I have anxiety now cause they sent you their dick pics or whatever same dude this dude's like in front of me complaining um and so i talked to him and he was like oh yeah like it's chill it's chill it's whatever we can just talk about it um but i don't think it was chill in his head like obviously like he's actually not chill in his head about it and i could kind of feel that you know when we were talking he was like we just needed to communicate about it communicate about it and I, I, like, had a conversation with him, and I was just like, you know, if you expect exclusivity from me, like, then we're gonna have to be, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, like, I don't, personally, I don't stay loyal in the talking stage, because I don't know you, two weeks in, I don't, I don't know you like that, you could be, you could have a felony that you're hiding from me. And I don't know that at two weeks. And this is on me for accepting to continue with a guy who expected exclusivity at two weeks. That's on me, for real. It's on me, for real. He just seemed really genuine, and it was, like, the vibes that I liked. I don't know. I just liked his, like... I was attracted to him and his energy in that moment, but I didn't think about, you know other factors like for example maybe he had a felony that that's that's an extreme case you know 
but that's why you don't become exclusive with people who you just know yeah but basically he was like oh yeah i always expect like girls i'm talking to to you know be loyal in the talking stage already and then i'm just like i'm sorry but it was confusing me because like he's a college student so you must be talking to multiple women daily as a call he's a gym guy attractive fit you know like i'm sure you have plenty of pretty girls talking to you but that should have been a red flag for me too you know not that he has a pretty lot of pretty girls like talking to him red flag that you're on a dating app even though you go to college and you can't you can't like talk to the girls in your class and stuff like that you have to talk to me who i already graduated like the reason I'm on dating apps is because I work from home. I don't leave my house. <laughs> I don't leave my house. I'm leaving my house now to go on a walk. That's how cool I am, guys. <laughs> I'm going to the park. But anyways, yeah, so two red flags. Loyalty in the talking stage is crazy. That's a red flag. Loyalty in the talking stage, like, please. He also said, like, he was like oh i thought you were my girlfriend like we never had that conversation you think i'm your girlfriend that's crazy bro that's crazy bro is that not crazy like we never had a conversation and you're already gonna assume that we're in a relationship he was like oh let's go with the flow what flow I was like do you want me to be a girlfriend and he was like yeah would you be my girlfriend i'm like i was like okay we could try it and that's how i got myself into that that's how i got myself into that now you guys know okay so i feel like you guys were assuming that you know i had known this guy for like a while or some shit and i was giving him a chance or i don't know what you guys were assuming but i had barely known that guy barely known him Yes, he liked anime and he likes tried to show me anime shit. Um, but I feel like you guys just like freak out about that. Like there's just if you if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Obviously, like I know people and enjoy people who like anime and I don't think they're creeps or weird. Um, but you guys know what I'm talking about. With the anime, with the creeps. Come on. Like, please. I feel like I don't have to say it. Like, but anyways, this is, I feel like this is getting too long and I'm just like ranting. But, um, yeah. I'm not saying that you need several options to make a decision, but keep them open, you know? Don't be like me and like, try to commit to someone who you barely know i was just i think i was in la la land like i was just like because i don't date people you guys like i don't i'm i'm very focused on like my social media career right now honestly um so i don't really try to go out and meet people or date i always think like oh if someone's gonna like someone's gonna like wanna be with me they're gonna find me type shit and that's what happened this time i matched with this guy actually i ghosted him like in the beginning because we were just texting um and you know it wasn't going anywhere so i just i just kind of gave up <laughs> um because it wasn't going anywhere but then he texted me again and he was like oh i really want to meet you and stuff like that i really want to take you out he was like what are you looking for he was like i want to go out with you and i'm like okay what does that mean in my head i'm like what does that mean like you want to take me out on dates right that's what going out means because you don't know me so why would you want to cuff me it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense like why do you want to cuff someone who you know nothing about it's weird it's weird um but yeah loyalty in the talking stage is crazy that's that's my that's my point of the video because no I don't know you like that for real but yeah anyways that's it bye I'm going on my five mile walk I'm down four pounds for my vacation
by the way, because I had a lot of water weight, and I'm down four pounds, so yeah, all right, bye.